Welcome everyone, I'm Jim from Jim Shape Coding. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about a very important built-in function that is going to help you a lot. So what if I told you that with only one line of code, you could generate a list of all integers from 0 to 100? Well, we already know that with Python anything is possible and this is why we are about to learn about the range built-in function. This is one of the more powerful tools you must use in Python. Let me paste the explanation about it. By the time, I just want to say that what this does, it generates a list of numbers by the information you pass into it. So for example, you can call the function and pass the number of 5 to it. And what this will do for you, it will generate you a list of all the integers from 0 to 5. So let's see how this is really works. And as I said, this is a built-in function. So its syntax is going to be like print. So you can use it by just calling it like range. And here we must pass an information. And you see that information pops up here. And actually you see three options. We will cover all the three in this video. So let's just start with the first one. So if I pass here 5 and I store it in a variable called numbers, what this will do, this will actually generate me a list of numbers from 0 to 4, okay? So from the last tutorial, you must remember that sometimes in Python when we mention range, actually the last number is not included, okay? So in the first step, if I print the numbers, what I will get back is actually the output itself of range from 0 to 5. But what I have to do is actually converting this piece of code here to actually make the range built-in function to perform in a way I want. So what I have to do here is actually use the list keyword. And what this will do, this will take the range of numbers and convert them into list for me. So if I print this now, you see how beautiful this will generate me all the numbers from 0 to 5, but 5 is not included. So what else this range function could do for us? Let's take a look. Well, from this use case, we have two difficulties with this range built-in function. Number one, what if I wanted to start my list from another number like 19 and not zero like this example? And number two, what if I wanted to change the step of the range and not make it jump by one each time like in this list? And for example, actually to make it jump by 5 or 10 or 20. Well, of course, range comes over those difficulties and you can pass this data as arguments to this function. So if you don't remember, argument is basically a piece of extra information you must mention into built-in functions because this is how it works. And we will learn how to create our custom functions in the future. So let's take a look what happens if I go into the lines between those parentheses and I write in two here, for example. What this is going to do, it is going to remember the starting point as two and the end point as five. So if I run this, for example, we will get two, three, and four back. And what if I, for example, want to get all numbers from 10 to 20? What will I do is change this to 10 and this will be 21 because last number is not included. And if I run this, I will get all the integers from 10 to 20. And here comes the second difficulty we talked about. And what can I do is also going here to the last argument place and I can add another comma here and I can pass here the step of the range built-in function. So you see already what popped up in the PyCharm. The step colon int, this tells is actually, okay, whatever number you put here, this is my step number is going to be. So if you put here two, all the integers will jump by two. So if I put in two here, you bet that I get 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. Okay, so this is how range function 
works and to take some more examples to absorb how the range function works it is really important that the first argument is the start and the second is the number of where i stop my range and the third one is step and if by any chance you forgot the order of what numbers you have to pass where what you can do is a really nice trick that i also use when i do actually code some programs myself is actually hovering your mouse onto the built-in function and just mark it and there you go you will get a pop-up where python is going to explain you actually what range function is doing so you can see here pycharm explains you very well what this function is about and also as you see you have here the start the stop and the step all right so this is a perfect way as a reminder of what arguments all the built-in functions are accepting all right so this is a really nice trick that i personally use and i recommend it of course there are more ways to gather information about some built-in function and there is no one way to know about some function or some code you don't understand so this was about the range built-in function i recommend to take the exercises on my website and don't forget to crack the subscribe button if you liked this video and I will see you in the next one.